Good morning guys and girls. Today we're going to be talking about probably one of the nicest products you can have as an offshore fisherman. Now, if anyone's been on a paddle ski, on a jet ski or on a ski boat and they've managed to use some of these, these are bait jigs. Now they come in a whole variety of different, different sizes, different colors, a different amount of hooks. If you've ever used these, you know the headache that these things can cause. Now, because of their short, so they're designed with a very long single line with uh, short hook links coming off hook snoots. The problem with that is they often tangle with each other and they form a big ball and um, everyone's got their own name for it but uh, a lack of kryness like that and because of all the small hooks they also go if they're lying down on the on your carpet on your boat and you walk past them like I do many times you get them all in your leg which is very very nice and a good way to make your day just that little bit better. Now that's all the negatives. The positive comes in with this right here. Now, this is our jig pole. So it's the Poseidon jig pole. Comes in two different lengths. We do an eight foot and a seven foot. Now, just the quick basics of that. Your eight foot is gonna be more for your jet skis and your ski boats. Your seven foot is better for your fishing skis because uh, the eight is a little bit long for most hatches. We're normally looking around about um, anywhere from about six and a half to, to seven and a half feet for, for your hatch space. Now, the problem with the seven is that your sabikis, the ready-made ones, are normally a little bit long. What you can do is you cut it and you just weld it, or when I say weld, just knot it uh, one or two short just so it fits in nicely. Now, how this whole system works, so right, there's a two-piece. You've got your real seat here. That's just a normal basic real seat can take a multiplier, can take a spinning reel, can take a KP. My personal preference is for a KP on here, just less frills. Your spinning reel, you just gotta make sure it's small enough that the angle from the spinning reel down to the eye over here isn't too big. Otherwise it sits down like this. It's still gonna work, you're just dropping up and down. It's not gonna be too much of an issue. Then you move on to, you got the eye there, so the, the insert, if you wanna call it. That goes into the tube of the rod is that there and runs all the way up through the middle this is hollow through the middle all the way there until we get to the top where you've got this little ferrule over here and then the line comes out the front and you tie your jig onto there now it's also got a little clip there just for hooking onto if you want to if you, if you operate like that what that does is it takes this string of hooks and uh, lovely hookiness and puts it inside a tube, away from your legs, away from hooking any of your other lines and just out of harm's way. And also you move from spot to spot. Now instead of having to untangle when you get to the next spot because the one hook goes over the line, the other one hooks into the eye and all sorts, it just gives you a proper headache. You see I've suffered from this before. Um, you now just get to your spot, clip over or release the line and you drop straight down and your jigs are ready to go. Now I wouldn't recommend storing your jigs in here for between trips because then they are going to rust. The hooks on here are high carbon steel, they're not stainless steel and so they do rust. But yeah, you can pop, pop them through there when you're moving spot to spot. What I generally do is you have your sinker will pull into the top here. You can have it like that pulled there. What I like to do is I'll leave the sinker out and I'll just get an elastic band that I leave on here and I just put it around the sinker there so when you're driving it doesn't do this the whole time as, you, as you're going along on the boat. Just clip it on there and you're good to go. Now, that flute or the ferrule at the top just uh, forces everything in nicely, keeps it in a, a nice tight uh, spiral when it comes in. And yeah, it's basically the biggest saver in catching bait that you could get. If you make these barbless, you can actually keep winding and you can just pop, the, the baits do pop off. I wouldn't recommend that because you can pull their jaws off and things. But I'll just grab and, and drop them off into your live bait well. But yeah. That is the Kingfisher Poseidon Jig Pole, available at all leading tackle stores and wholesale through Kingfisher. Cheers.